Hey everybody, this is Paul, and we are back with another brand new Star Wars LEGO review. Another great original trilogy set here. This is set number 75052, the Moss Eisley Cantina. Uh, 616 pieces, retail price of $69.99 in the U.S. Just got this today at our LEGO store. Um, these guys weren't supposed to be out until next month, but... Our Lego store, I guess, couldn't wait. Put them out early. So let's take a look here. Um, we are going to get... Actually, I'm going to pick the box up. I'm going to put this down. And I'll pick it up. I'll show you. So, this comes with eight minifigures. You get three of the Cantina Band, which is the Bith Musicians X3. A Greedo, a brand new Greedo. Han Solo. Obi-Wan Kenobi, a brand new Luke Skywalker and a brand new sand trooper. And as you can see from the box, this is gonna have Luke's land speeder, and then a cool play set, along with, sorry about the glare, a dewback and sand trooper. So how cool is that? All right, let us take a look at what is inside the box. That is thoroughly unimpressive because I don't have it in view. All right, let's adjust the camera so we can see. Oh, now you're excited. There we go. All right. What to start with first? So many cool things come with this. Let's start with the mean green machine, the Dewback. All right, so this is the Dewback with the Sand Trooper. Now, he does come with extra pieces, extra green pieces here. I'm pick them up real quick. Um, he comes with these extra green pieces, so you could remove his saddle uh, and the Sand Trooper, obviously, um, and then he would be a fool lizard. He wouldn't have a hole in him. <laughs> so, um, his mouth opens up, if I can ever get it to open. There we go. His mouth opens up. It's got little chompers in there. Ooh, it's almost like spring-loaded. Don't want to get your finger caught in there. Alright. Here's our sand trooper with our really long jousting staff. Oh, that'd be awesome. We need extra dewbacks. Set up a sand trooper joust. I just thought about that. All right, so here's the Sand Trooper. He is brand new printing. Has the black cloth pauldron, a brick assembled backpack. But he looks all, ooh, I like that printing on the shoulder also. He looks all dirty and dusty, just like from episode four, A New Hope. All right. So that is the Sand Trooper. And then if we look at this saddle, turn it over, he has his blaster rifle. That dewback is really cool. Also, what's funny is the dewback was on camera for just a really short period of time. I'm gonna pick up Hansel and jump to you while I'm talking about the dewback. Um, he was only on screen for, what, a couple seconds? during the original movie, um, but he spawned a toy from the original 1980 Star Wars toys, and this is his second Lego version of a Dewback. Um, interesting to note about the Dewback, that's the only animal that the Imperials employ um, in any of the movies. We've seen the Rebels have the Tauntaun and, uh, from Empire Strikes Back, and um, Obi-Wan rides that blizzard thing around in Revenge of the Sith, I think, right before Order 66 is given. So, all right, I showed you Han Solo. He, he's not a new figure, so we didn't spend a lot of time with him. Greedo is a bounty hunter um, who obviously fired first, provoking Han to shoot him, because Han would never just shoot unprovoked. I'm teasing, obviously, but... Um, that's a big internet controversy right now. If you've never seen the original, original Star Wars, uh, get a hold of a copy of the scene so you can see, and you will clearly see that Greedo did not fire first. He was completely innocent. Han assassinated him. So there's Greedo. Here is a brand new Obi-Wan mold. This is like the 55th Obi-Wan it seemed like in Lego. Um, but he looks really good. I like the printing on the legs. That is one cool thing that, you know, that Lego keeps 
keeps reissuing these guys, but they, they do constantly improve upon them. Um, all right, and then we have Luke. And he's got the printed legs as well. I'm really sorry about the glare, guys. Hopefully you can see these okay. Comes with his lightsaber and macro binoculars. And here we go. All right, now you get three of these guys. All the figures are identical. Um, these two guys come with little built uh, assembled brick um, musical instruments. And this guy, there's a little thing on the on the floor of the cantina, which we'll get to in just a minute, that I'll show you, that he kind of stands behind. I don't know if it's a drum set or some other sort of musical instrument. Um, all right, you can earn Star Wars nerd points here. These guys on the box of this are called Bith Musicians. All right, does anybody know the actual name of the cantina band? They were always just called the cantina band back in the 80s. Um, you know, we never really had a name, but if you if if you've read any of the nerdy Star Wars, um, you know, stuff, you find out they actually do have a name for the band. Anybody know it? All right. If you've given up, I'll tell you. It's Figrin Dan and the Modal Nodes. So, obviously, one of these guys, it all looks the same. There are six of these guys. You get three of them, so you got to buy two sets in order to make the full band. Um, one of these guys is obviously named Figrin Dan, and the rest of them are the Modal Nodes. So, okay, here is a brand new land speeder, Luke's land speeder. Um, these have been around for a while, too. I think we've had two or three of these previously. Uh, there normally would be some stickers right here, here, and here, but I didn't put them on yet. So, and I, I hate stickers. Really, I, I wish Lego would just... Lego is expensive enough already, I know, but I would really pay a couple extra dollars for printed pieces as opposed to stickers. I can never put the stickers on completely straight and I always get frustrated, but this is a nice little land speeder for Luke and Obi-Wan to cruise around in. Now, let's move aside the figures and let's take a look at the cantina. So, it has a cool little domed top. There's a water trough for the uh, dewback to get water at. Here's a moisture evaporator that R2-D2 can talk to and C-3PO because he is fluent in over 6 million languages and forms of communication. All right. Now, here's what's pretty cool about this. This is built to fold out. The little thing flips up. That flips open. So you can really... Um, you know, have this however you want. Probably like that would be the best way because, yeah, something like that. Because I think according to the original movie, Luke and Obi-Wan come strolling through here. Of course, Luke doesn't have his lightsaber out at this time. But they come strolling through here along with the droids and the scanner goes off alerting the bartender to the droid's presence and he says, hey, we don't serve your kind in here. So, and if you've never seen the movie, I've just ruined part of it for you. But anyway... You kind of get it. And over here is where Han Solo would be sitting. And, er, let me get his hands up. This is why you can never have the Lego people sit with their hands down. He'd be sitting here, and Greedo would be sitting across from him. They'd be discussing who's going to fire first. Maybe they're going to do like one, two, three. All right, and I told you that there was a little thing that these guys, this guy stands near. It's that little thing on the floor there. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm going to get the camera now off the tripod. We're gonna zoom in here and take a better look. Some of the better features here, so you can see. All right. Oh, it's not focusing. Why is it not focusing? There we go. So there he is with that little thing on the floor, and you can see just some of the details in the back of the rooms. There's the bar. My camera battery's flashing, so we gotta kinda put this up. So there's Greedo and Han standoff table, two little booths there. 
and then there's a separate little room where the stormtrooper can come in and be looking around for the droids. And of course, the dewback would be out back at the trough doing his thing. All right, so all in all, whoops, got really shaky there. There is the Moss Isley Cantina, a more wretched hive of, of scum and villainy you shall not find unless you go to Walmart late at night. And then it's like you can hear the Cantina theme song playing. <laughs> All right, just had to do that. Sorry, wouldn't be the same. Can't do a cantina review without doing a little song. All right, so there you have it. Here is Luke's land speeder. We'll just put it right there. It doesn't go there, but whatever. So that's what comes in that set. I think it's an excellent value for $69.99. And again, I'm just thrilled with these original trilogy sets. I love some of the updates on characters. Um, they're just getting better all the time. And I love these sand colored bricks. I really think that somebody more creative than me could make a really cool castle or cantina or like a Arabian Nights kind of scene with these. So anyway, uh, leave a comment below. Tell me what you think. Uh, do you like the cantina? Are you planning on picking one up? What do you hope Lego makes for them, the original trilogy? Anyway, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye!